This creator accidentally stumbled upon a real life level of the back rooms, and this is what people are saying about it. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jesse Lyon, a licensed counselor who gives you the psychology behind pop culture. And today we're responding to a creator who made a spooky backrooms video that then triggered people to say, oh my God, I've literally had this dream. And these are my opinions as a mental health counselor and a dream interpreter, what I think about it. But before we do, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so we not only share this with you, but with other people who might need advice about their mental health and what their dreams mean. Don't do it just for me. Do it to spread mental health awareness with those who need it most. Rose in their tracks. Can't find the exit. I can't, I can't find it. No, because I don't know what just showed up on my For You page at 9.20 in the morning when I did. What, what, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We got it. What is this? Muse? Like, is she a really big fan of the band? Or like, is she the muse? I don't. Usually the muse doesn't have a logo that says, I am a muse. If you gotta, if you gotta. <laughs> If you got to label yourself that's like, hey, just a reminder, I am Muse, you're probably not. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just a weird tattoo. Like, it's not even like, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Like, it doesn't even have like a nice font on it. Well, okay. Well, I'm, I'm curious about <laughs> who this person is. No, because I don't know what just showed up on my For You page at 920 in the morning when I didn't sleep last night. I'm a local. This is the Crystal Mall in Waterford, Connecticut. I've been going to the small since there's just some like I don't I don't know what I drank in the coffee today, but there's just some idiosyncrasies that's like I'm getting some Karen vibes. No, this is the crystal mall. You don't understand. This is like a big deal because I know sorry, I'm be, maybe I'm listen. <laughs> in therapy I don't judge, but on, on YouTube, that's what it's for, right? Okay, so Crystal Mall, here we go. It's the nineties. My biological mother worked at the Fredericks of Hollywood in the small, and I frequent it constantly as a child. Okay. My adoptive father did the plumbing for this small. That's pretty Almost cool. every first date I had in high school was at the Crystal Mall. Uh -huh. I've worked at both the Build-A-Bear and that H&M featured in that video. Uh -huh. It's also where I met one of my best friends. Since childhood, I have had extremely lucid dreams of this small. Like, I can <laughs> map the whole fucking thing for you. And anytime I tell one of my local friends, like, oh, yeah, I have these lucid dreams of the Crystal Mall, before I even get to the mapping of the dream, which I'm going to get to in this video, okay. because this is absurd. Every single friend has cut me off and been like, oh, yeah, the Crystal Mall dream. And laid out the map and laid out the scenario before I finish saying what I need to. And local. Oh, my God. It's true. Astral projection and astral travel is real because they're all having the same dream. Well, yeah, no shit. No shit. It's like, it's like me going up to my, my sister and my brother are saying like, oh my God, do you have the, our childhood home dream? Well, yeah, of course we do. Of course we do. And you know, this would be proof to me. This would be proof to me. And this is why, you know, I, I don't know. I, again, what was in the coffee? I don't know. But if I go up to my brother and sister and say, hey, did you have our childhood home dream? Like, of course they're going to, because it's a shared experience and it's a significant experience. Back in the nineties, we all hung out at the mall. Like that was where we did things. Like, you know, it was, it was the, the epicenter of our social and, you know, uh, life flourishing. That's where our relationships happened. That's where we started romantic relationships. That's where we broke up with our boyfriends and girlfriends. That's where we had our first kiss. That's where we fooled around in the dressing room. I don't, maybe this is more about me than it is about you, but you get what I'm saying. So it's like, it would be really proof if I had a dream about the Crystal Mall, but I've never been to the Crystal Mall. I can tell you, I've never had a dream about the Crystal Mall. I can guarantee 99% of you, unless you live in whatever the Idaho this place is, that you haven't had a dream about the Crystal Mall either. But she just said that many experiences, significant experiences in her life, first job, relationships, friendships, high school, all happened in the Crystal Mall. So of course she's going to dream about it. And those people who are her friends also probably spent a lot of time there. So they're also going to have the Crystal Mall dream. So to me, a lot of this stuff that I see and, and I appreciate, you know, shout out for the tags. Thank you to the Discord community for sending me these videos to respond to. It doesn't give any proof to me because like, of course it does. And anybody who hasn't been to the Crystal Mall hasn't dreamed of the Crystal Mall. So let's continue. Well, nutmeggers chime in because I want to know if you guys have this too. That H&M is always the spawn point. For every person I've talked to about this stream, it is always the spawn point. It's the H&M. Sure, sure. But here's the other thing, too. Is she asking them if it's the spawn point or are we conducting good research here? Right. 
because it's easy for me to say like, oh, and the H&M is the spawn point, right? Or, oh, is the H&M the spawn point for you in the dream? Dreams are so muddy and blurry and misremembered and notoriously unremembered. So it's easy to make that suggestion or ask that question and then get the response of, oh my God, yeah, it is because it's easy to misremember. Uh, also, it could be the layout. You know, I know in the mall that's close to me, one of the main entrances is you walk through the Barnes and Noble. So it makes sense that if I was starting a dream inside of my local mall, it might start in the Barnes and Noble. That's just logical, right? So to me, I haven't seen anything that's making me be like, oh my God, yet. But I haven't watched the full video. We're going to do it together. Straight ahead, there used to be a restaurant called Charlie's. It's now on Buffalo Wild Wings, as every, every former restaurant in a mall is now. It's also next to Rue 21. In the dream, Charlie still exists. Right. The Sears that's to the right of that H and M, like well, this Sears way, is done, right? Is still closed. Yeah, it's closed. been closed for years. Yeah, in the dream, it's always been closed. R.I.P. Sears. Across the way is a Rue Twenty One in real life. If it's still open, in the dream, it's always like are. a Spencer's, but it's in a black lit room. I love Spencer's. If you try to go to the left of that H and M, the opposite side, where this person in the, the video is filming, there's always a fire always a fire you will die you will die in the dream well you know i mean and if you go down Interesting. in this dream and i'm telling you i've talked to so many people about this and it is consistently the same thing huh. when you go down there's people who look like mannequins they do not have a face they are often wearing suits you do not approach these people you do not say anything they do not move unless you go down the stairs which Whoa. they're not stairs. It's a broken escalator and Whoa. it's been that way for years. I love this creepy like horror liminal space stuff. It just, ooh, it's one of my, it's like, it's gotta be my favorite like horror genre. But here's the thing. Listen, you be the judge, right? Listen, I just give you the information. You make the decision yourself. But it is very common to have a going downstairs and meeting other figures, especially mannequins kind of dream. Also, mannequins make sense inside of this dream. Um, and I'll get to the fire thing here in a minute, but mannequins are lifeless. They're lifeless creatures. And metaphorically, when we go down the stairs in our mind, we're going into our deeper consciousness and we're meeting parts of our own personality that we don't know very well yet. They're all buttoned up still. They're not like real people. And so buttoned up being metaphorically, they're in suits. They're faceless because we don't understand who they are yet. But these are parts of our own personality and characteristics that maybe are denied, repressed, ignored. And so going down the stairs is self-exploration. And this is the way that dreams do these things. They will explore these parts of your mental health and your psyche through imagery and dreams. So to me, this sounds very on par with what I see day in and day out in my clinical practice of down the stairs, meeting faceless figures kind of dream. That's a very common type of trope. It just happens to be that a very common setting for people in this area is this crystal mall. Now, the fire usually fires about like passion or anger. And so, well, a lot of people have passion and anger inside of them that's unresolved. And so they see that oftentimes in the dream. So I don't know. So far, it's just seeming pretty normal. It's seeming like uh, a little bit of um, self-fulfilling prophecy. We're seeing what we want to see here. It's to the point that I love backrooms lore because I've had these lucid dreams for as long as I can remember. I won't go into that mall anymore. I will not step foot into that mall. Okay, well, now, now we're just being silly. Uh, is agoraphobia developing here? Like, come on. Oh, that mall is my childhood. I will not step foot into the mall. That's sad. Think of the nostalgia trip you could have being in that mall. That'd be a great time. There's nothing spiritual going on there. You're just dreaming about something that you've experienced. Like nostalgia. That's why nostalgia gives us almost a creepy feeling. And that's why Backrooms lore often incorporates nostalgic elements, right? Old school phones, old school computers, right? You don't see new age laptops inside of Backrooms lore. You see the old CRT like monitors, right? Because it's like nostalgia is an intrinsic element of dream and horror culture. So you get it. And it's not just because I've had these dreams. Oh, it's because so many people in my life that I have talked to just in. Do you ever have lucid dreams? Oh, yeah, I have lucid dreams about the Crystal Mall. And then the same exact plot, the same exact storyline before I speak. And then I mean, if I had a nickel for every time someone said I had a dream about my teeth falling out, isn't that strange? I wouldn't have to work anymore. Everyone has dreams about the teeth falling out. There are some very common tropes, and that's why we can interpret them. So like. 
The fact that people have had similar dreams and the same storyline inside of them all just shows that we are a collective people and that we're connected emotionally because we know that as people. We feed off of each other's energy. We're very much important. Relationships are a part of our life. And so to me, this is just showing what we already know about sociology and connection and community. It's not showing me any spiritual, weird, astral, lucid travel type of stuff to me. And this video shows up on my For You page. Absolutely not. So if you live in It's like air people who say like, oh, if I say remote control airplane, remote control airplane, RC car, remote control airplane, like now Google's going to show me ads. You know, it, it's not actually what happens. Like, uh, sure, they're, they're listening to you. Don't get me wrong. But it's not that sophisticated. You Googled RC car at some point, or it just happens to be that they figured you'd probably want to look at RC cars. And so they gave you that ad. They're not actually doing all that stuff. But- it's self-fulfilling prophecy. You're like, oh my God, I was just talking about our remote control cars and now Google's showing me ads for it. It's like when you buy a Toyota Corolla, you know, and you start driving a Toyota Corolla, you realize how many fucking Toyota Corollas are on the road. It, it's bias. It's observation bias. And you are seeing a live example of it here in the dream sphere. Area, that if rhymed. you're in Southeastern Connecticut, I just need to know, do you have that dream too? Because I, I mean, Probably the yes. amount of people I have talked to and then this video... It's, it's fucking freaking me out. Mm. Call me hippie dippy. Call me cuckoo nans. Call me whatever you. I'm not calling you cuckoo nans. I'm just saying learning a little bit about psychology and mental health would help you understand what wonderful things your mind's doing rather than you thinking that you're cuckoo. You're not cuckoo, right? And I can see that. Like she's defending against it. Like, don't call me crazy. Like you can call me cuckoo. I don't know, but this is what I believe. No one's, no one's called you that. There's just some really good science behind what's going on here. And to me, the science is more fascinating than the spiritual who knows. Juan, this is legitimately the first time in my life I have seen an actual representation of a dream that literally plagues me. So cool. And again, it is the same storyline, the same, um, we call it a respawn center like cool. where you respawn in the crystal mall dreams in a case i haven't said it nobody who i've talked to about these dreams nobody has ever found an exit oh yeah no. this is this is fucking nightmare fuel um congratulations to this creator i uh, dude what the fuck <laughs> well wait now we gotta go watch the uh now we gotta go watch the original video let's go find it hold on see what this is now i'm curious i'm at a dead mall guys everyone just stopped moving like froze in their track those kind of look like mannequins right are those like real people like this hair doesn't look real on this person like froze in their tracks can't find the exit i can't i can't find it everything looks the same and nobody's here it just keeps repeating don't move over and over and over again and everyone's still frozen i'm trying to find the exit oh, oh wait a minute you saw that right Hold on. Watch, watch this, watch this. The feet don't move with the floor. I'm I'm thinking CGI, like green screen background. Watch, watch this slowly. Hold on, can I change the speed? Let's move it, move it down. Watch, the, the people will move differently than the floor moves. Still frozen. I'm trying to- you See that right at the end? It's like the people lifted off Still the ground. Frozen. I'm trying to- You saw that, right? Speed, slow down the YouTube video if you need to. I'm still frozen. I'm trying yeah. to find the exit. You can see it. 15. 15, 15. This is just a great creator who's making good horror content. I Flying love it. Penguins 15? What? If this is a prank, these people are committed. They are not messing around. Hello? What are you doing? Nobody's... Yeah, those are character models from a video game like Blender or something. Nobody's on the second level. I think she's counting down. Ugh, I'm so out of shape. I'm looking from... Uh, see? Look, there's a person back there just living their normal life. One end of the mall to the other. <laughs> is anyone else walking? They haven't budged an inch. What is this girl going to do on the loudspeaker? Is she going to put us in timeout? I'm a shiver me timbers. Nine. It's oh, well done. Are be honest. I'm getting out of here. She's speeding up. She, she is speeding up. I don't even know where the exit is. What's going to happen when they stop counting down? One. They're all gone. They, they like vanish into thin air. Nice. Oh, I love me some good back rooms, horror spooks. Well, let me know. Do you have dreams like this? Have you ever seen the crystal ball or is it just observer bias? 
I'm here to tell you what your dreams mean. If you want to know more about me and all the stuff I do with mental health, lionmentalhealth.com is the way to sign up and get those free goodies and details to your inbox. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye.